Howdy guys, Bookie Laura here. This is my opportunity to update you with the books that I've read this month that are part of a book club. Now I've only read one book that's part of a book club this month and that is I Am Malala, which I read as part of the Feminist Orchestra Book Club. Feminist Orchestra Book Club is a group on Goodreads who read books with a kind of feminist theme, which is completely and utterly up my street, floats my boat. I don't I don't manage to take part every month because I am not made of money and I try really hard not to buy a lot of new books but this is a book that I had wanted to read for ages so I decided that I was going to take part. So this is my kind of book clubby book review of I Am Malala. Now I imagine most of you are aware of Malala's story. She is a young girl who grew up in Pakistan and was shot by the Taliban for standing up for education for girls. This book is kind of her autobiography. It is her telling her story. I generally enjoyed this book. It is, there is no doubt about it that the story is incredible. She is an incredible young woman and it's fantastic to read about her and just be inspired by her. But at times I did find it sort of a bit slow and a bit hard going. The thing that got me right from the very start is how inspiring she is and, and that is portrayed really well in her book. The book starts by going right back to the time when she was shot by the Taliban and briefly summarising those events and then it goes back before that and tells the story in more depth from her early life right through until after she was shot and her recovery. Throughout this book I was constantly reminded and constantly amazed and inspired by her as a woman and that was just a really strong theme for me is that she is amazing and no matter what was going on in her life she never let go of her morals and her beliefs and that really I find inspiring. I know I've said inspire a lot but it is really, I think it is a really key point of this book. She is an inspiring young woman and that gets you right from the start. Right from the start you are amazed by her and that carries on throughout. Particularly during the start of this book I felt that there was a lot of information coming across. So as well as learning her story there was a lot of historical and political information about Pakistan and about the events that happened there. And at times I wasn't quite sure, it felt, at times it felt like there was a lot of information coming at you very quickly. At the start of the book I didn't find that too difficult, I felt it was worked in really well and I didn't find that it slowed the story down. But as the story went on, as the book went on, I found I got quite weary of the level of information that was given and it, it sort of slowed down my reading. Whereas actually her story, though those more sort of autobiographical bits, went much more quickly. As human beings, we are all very, very aware of the difficulties that have gone on in Pakistan and in that area. But I felt something that really came across in this book was the more human side of those events. It's very easy to see them on the news and just see them as news stories and forget that these are real people and real lives. For example, I, I particularly enjoyed that she told the story of how her dad, when he was younger, was brainwashed by people like the Taliban who had, who are able to convince people that, that their beliefs are right, that things like suicide bombings you should do and here's why and I found that it was really interesting to see the human side of that because actually when you see that on the news you think I don't get it I do not understand how they managed to convince people to do things like that whereas actually she was able to explain you know it's it is a clever process and it was really interesting to see that side I felt that the book swung be between being an autobiography and being an information book about the history and politics of the Middle East. To be fair, I really enjoyed the autobiographical side, but not so much the heavy political information giving side. I felt I was interested in learning about the history, but at times it felt like there was just too much information coming my way and it might have been, I would have enjoyed it more if it had been sort of smaller drip fed elements of information. As I've said before, I'm going to end by saying that this woman is amazing. Standing up for your beliefs and particularly standing up for girls and education for girls is so important and to see somebody doing that, not only doing that, but doing that when they knew that it was put them in danger, when they knew that there were people out there who disagreed very strongly, is just incredible. She is an amazing young woman and that was what I got from the book, that actually I felt, I came out of it thinking, yes, I'm going to stand up for these women as well. I am going to fight this cause and I won't let people shut me down when they say 
sexist things or when they say things that are wrong. I will question them and I will challenge them. I think that that is so important in today's society. I think that a lot of bad things become normal because people are afraid to stand up for what they believe in. Amazing, inspiring, hard work at times, but worth it for the strong message that it gives. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.